Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Sal. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up and install mods in NBA 2K21. I'll be showing you guys where you can get the mods and how to combine certain mods together and uh, all that good stuff. So without further ado, man, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'm not going to waste too much time. Let's get straight to this video, man. Let's get it. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Sal. We're back. NBA 2K21 installation tutorial. And listen, I'm gonna get straight into it. So, first things first, you are gonna need obviously NBA 2K21. That's a given. But not only that, but you're gonna need to know where to access your 2K21 directory. So, for me, it's in my Steam folder. How I get to it is how I get to it. Now, you have to know how to get to it. Some of you guys should have it in your program x86 file in your regular hard drive. For me, I have it on an external hard drive. So what you'll do is go access the Steam folder for me personally. Go to Steam Apps Common. This will be the same thing if you have Steams. If you have a cracked version or anything like that, uh, you should already know how to get to the game directory. But boom, you'll know it's the files. Uh, you're, you'll know you're in the right place when you see a bunch of white blank pages with a bunch of numbers and letters attached. And then obviously you'll see the application at the bottom as well. So once you reach this, I will say this will be the, obviously half of the step. You'll need this file. You'll need this uh, section of your files open. Now what I'll have is links in down below for you guys, which you'll need the NBA 2K21 hook file. You'll need the uh, D input file and you'll also need the uh, mods folder as well. So this will all be at, in the link in the description down below. It'll be one of the first links down there. I recommend 2K Specialist for this because it's pretty cut dry, pretty point blank simple. You'll go to proceed to download. What you want to do is right click over the media fire and then open it in a new tab because if you don't, you're going to click on it and it's going to open it right here and then you don't, you know, I just think it'll be better if you open a new tab. Once you open it up in a new tab, go ahead and download it. Uh, if you're familiar with downloads and installations, you'll have WinRAR already. If not, go ahead and download WinRAR, open it up. I will uh, go ahead and uh, yeah, close out of that. Go ahead and expand this so you can see clearly. But yeah, all you're gonna do is double tap on the folder that has the hook, right? I'm gonna highlight all three of these. At first I stopped at the first two, but then I realized, you know what? The mods folder, you're gonna need that as well if you don't already have one. So you're gonna go ahead and highlight all three of these. Go ahead and drag. You guys know my installation method. You know the drag and drop method. Go ahead and drag and drop right into the uh, 2K21 files. It'll take a second to ask you if you want to repeat. Oh, I had my game open during this process, so I had to go ahead and close it out. And then I hit try again and it'll work. Make sure your game is closed when you're installing these real quick. Then boom, you'll have the necessary. So what this does is 2K21 hook tells the game to load up the mods folder every time you load up the game. So if you have a mods folder, it'll load it up. Now, obviously you guys are here to try to put mods in or figure out how do you install mods as well. So boom. The mod that if the folder has MODS mods, capital M O D S, the game will pick up whatever files are in this folder and load it into the game. So look, as you guys can see, it's pretty simple. You can create other mod folders so you don't have to have all of them in one folder and you don't have to keep replacing it every time. It, I think this is dope. So for me personally, I have NCAA mods. Shout out to Rob Davis. I have the next gen mods. I have a video on that if you didn't already watch that. But for today's video, I want to show you guys how to input just the basics of inputting mods into the mods folder. For right now, I'm going to show you guys and prove that when I load up the game, there's not going to be any mods loaded in because as you guys can see, the mods folder is empty. Uh, so let me go ahead and load up the game real quick. And again, this is great because you don't have to have only one mods folder at all times and have to keep replacing mods in and out you can actually create more than one mods folder and rename it but then just know that the only mods folder that will load up is the one that literally has mods and as you can see here there's no custom load up there's no custom nothing there's no NCAA mod there's no roster mod no scoreboard i just want to do a quick show you guys real quick the only thing that you can really see is i have a reshade going on and that's going to stay because that doesn't involve a mods folder um, but other than that there was nothing that loaded up so what, are, what I'm going to show you guys real quick is that I'm going to rename first I'm going to rename the actual mods folder I have right now to something like random I want to just make sure you guys know that this is the one I'm going to be working on for today's video sake but I already do have mods folders named after what I already have but that'll just be for today's video but I'm going to rename my NCAA files to the mods so that the game knows to load up the NCAA mods I have so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and again, I just reiterate, this is a great way to separate your mods out to not overlap them. But at the same time, you can put mod, if you want to combine certain mods, like if you have 
uh, let's say you have a scoreboard that you want to put with your college series. You can always do that. It's just that if you want to separate a uh, next gen mod from a college mod from a retro mod, that will be why you rename your folders. But again, I'm going to go ahead and load up the mods folder in NBA 2K21 and show you guys that it works. Again, I renamed NCAA to regular mods and then watch. Boom. There goes the mod right there. NCAA hoops. All the logos, all that is all there. Whatever, again, whatever is in the mods folder will be loaded because of the hook. That is why you do need to download the hook and you do need to download the D input file as well as make sure that the folder you want to load up is actually named capital M O D S and not anything else. But again, I just want to show you guys that part real quick. And you guys are probably wondering, okay, boom, now I know how to install mods. That's that's the basis of it. Right then and there. All that, that's literally how you install, set up, and install a mod. Is basically downloading the hook, downloading the D input, downloading the mods folder, and then renaming it based off of whatever mod you want to do. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to basically grab a mod or grab anything off the internet and install it in your mods folder, just so you guys know how to install it. It's very easy and very simple. I think this is actually one to get this part set up is very much easier than probably in other 2ks in my opinion so yes what i did was rename that random folder back to mods because that this folder is empty right now this folder has nothing in it so the second link will take you to the 2k specialist page again but this time it'll take you just to the just, just scroll through the site that's all i recommend they have scoreboards that i just want to do a scoreboard real quick find a scoreboard so you guys i think scoreboard is kind of the easiest thing to show you guys that i can load into and like show like hey it works so I found a yes scoreboard shout out to the Brooklyn Nets. I'm going to go ahead and download that. And it's the same process. Uh, keep your uh, game directory open. Go ahead and download it. Open it up in Renoir. Again, you just want to drag and drop scoreboard file. Easy. Boom. Highlight over it. Drag it. Go ahead and drop it into the mods folder. Again, don't drop it into the main files with all this. Go ahead and drop it right into your mods folder. And look, that's the first mod. And I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can find anything else that's easy to show that proves that this works. There's obviously a bunch of things out there like murals, gameplay settings, rims, but I wanted to show you guys something that I could easily prove that it worked. So after doing some more digging, uh, excuse me, I eventually found out the uh, mural. I, I, I'm like, man, it's kind of dope. I actually might want to keep it for myself. So I want to go ahead and download this. So again, same process. You're going to scroll till you see proceed to download, click on it, open media fire in a new tab, right click and hit new tab if you didn't know that, and then go ahead and download it. Go ahead and click download uh this file is going to have i believe it's going to have obviously 30 different uh low logos and i'm going to show you guys the control a method if you didn't already know uh i'm going to go ahead and open it up uh you know i'm saying any day now go ahead and double click on the folder uh sorry for you guys i didn't zoom in on this part but you guys should know the method and then yes you're going to see all of these obviously you're not going to have to if you don't want to highlight over them that's okay you could highlight over all of these but if you don't feel like it all you gotta do is press control a and then hold the control button down and click on the folder so it unclicks it and then drag and drop them all into your mods folder and boom now you have the murals in with the scoreboard and hey now just to prove to you guys it works i'm going to go ahead and load up the game real quick and again just showing you guys i renamed it to mod so it'll load so i'm loading up my 2k21 and again there's nothing on the loading screen that's going to prove that this is you know i didn't load download a new uh new loading screen or anything so i'm going to skip that and just go straight into the game and as you can see boom look at the murals hey ladies and gentlemen that is how you install a mod on nba 2k21 basis the basis of it now there's other stuff like cyber phases i actually have a video on that i have a video on basically everything you, everything almost you know i have a next gen cyber face i have all that kind of stuff but as far as just downloading a mod like a school board murals uh anything basically like this is the basis of how you set up mods on 2k this will be even if you do the scoreboard in the uh the cyberface tutorial i have you'll need to set up the hook and all that oh and uh yeah speaking of cyberface i'm like why not show you guys the same method works if you want to download a cyberface that you see like they have zion brandon Moy. i saw robert comes and i thought he'll be the most obvious to see like oh he has a he has a he has a mask on so i decided to go ahead and download that as well Again, I'm just showing you guys that this is how it works for basically all mods on NBA 2K21. Uh, and if you have any questions, definitely don't hesitate to join my Discord as well. But again, same method, downloading the cyberface, double click on the folder till you see the actual files. Go ahead and highlight over them, drag and drop right into the mods folder. And again, make sure you drop it into the mod. Don't drop it outside. Drop it into the mods folder. And you know, and make sure it's in the folder that you want it to be in. And again, for the cyber phases, just load up the player. So all you gotta do, I wanna go ahead and find Robert Covington on the plate on the Trailblazers. 
and I can't exactly remember what his original cyber face looked like, but I don't think it had a mask because boom, there you go. There's the exact same cyber face you just saw on the internet right there on Robert Covington in my game. And since you have it for, you basically replace Robert Covington's cyber face. So whenever you load up this mod folder, it'll replace Robert Covington's face, whatever roster you choose to use, whether it's a, uh, a custom roster or a roster you already had, that's going to be his face. And again, Take a moment to go through 2K Specialist. It's a great site to use. It's a bunch of uh, modders uploading their files to here so that you guys can use it. So feel free to take a look. They have a whole bunch of stuff, jerseys, courts, all that. And again, man, that is how you install mods in NBA 2K21. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Uh, I had a rude comment the other day that the guy basically said that he felt like I wasn't, uh, I guess, going into enough detail. I don't know. I, I, I tell you guys, man, I'm just trying to show you guys I don't take any credit for any of the mods you see in this video as far as I didn't create any of them. So I can't just give them away to you guys or give away my folders and files. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. Nonetheless, please make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And it's your boy Sal. Hey, Road to 2K, man. I'm out. Peace. Sometimes I wanna fly away. Feeling elevated and I'm feeling elevated and I'm How you doing? I'm doing fine yourself Learn to lose friends when you find